Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. I think I, I think I got footage of him. The ghost. He's leaving. All right, so this is my intern, Tomas. Say hello, Tomas. Hello. He is from, well, he's a Texas A&M boy. So he's from Texas born and bred. So we're lucky to have him out in Bend. He's learning uh, all about aircraft building, as am I, blind leading the blind. But he's also getting his PPL, so we're gonna go take up the Bonanza Ghost for some flights. But this is huge to have an extra set of hands, an extra brain uh, on this project for the summertime. So what are we working on right now? That day on. I was going somewhere, I was the Burring. We're working on the, technically he's working on exactly the flap spar, plot the elevator spar, or aileron spar as well, bless you. So um, I wanted to kind of grab some videos because we're just chatting away having a great time. Uh, so let's take a look also at the flaps that we've bent. Turned out pretty good I think. So the idea is we're gonna do all four at once. So the two flaps and the two ailerons at once. I might regret it. We've got aileron we haven't bent yet. One big problem with the aileron, I'm still waiting to call back from builder support at RAND. With the flaps, it was no problem. You, you want to bend the longer side up, all right, and they had number 30 sized holes. Well, unfortunately, these are number 40 sized holes. So you either have to create another pole and have a bunch of number 40 aka 330 second clecos um, on hand but nobody does that so we started drilling them out to number 30 hopefully that wasn't a mistake um, then I, I realized well it's Rans's uh, builder sport hours right now so let me call and I'm waiting for a call back so I'll let you know the answer on that wish us luck oh by the way my nose isn't sunburn it's a uh, Dermatological thing. Anyway, bye. Before you plunge that, I realized I didn't kind of explain what Tomas is doing. Deburring. The spars need to be deburred. There are a ton of burrs in all of these uh, holes down here. So somebody else on YouTube did this. Get out of the backlight. Uh, just kind of tape some. It's tape against. Um, Sandpaper doesn't work, so I kind of created some flanges right there. Mop broom, mop handle, and uh, shove it down there. And all it needs to go is about halfway down, so you can turn it around, use it on the other side, and clear out the burrs. So there's your tip from the day from the blind. Even the blind. So review, we're gonna go 90 degrees, uh, holding it there with steady pressure down. We'll adjust our grip, and then we'll go another 90, pause, okay, we're good. Okay, finish with the last 90 for a total of 270. There's our briefing, is everybody ready? A little rock drill. <laughs> I love it. And uh, your job is to hold that up. And, all right, ready? ready, set, go. Here's 90. And, and adjust. Okay, ready? Sit. Here's another 90. Okay, downward pressure. And let's finish it off with the last 90. Yeah, there we go. A little bit beyond for good and the luck. And release. And like magic, we've got an airfoil shape. Baby's first rivet. Baby first rivet. Whatever, my first one was a couple weeks ago. Okay. And then just pull the trigger. Yep, and pull it and hold until it's. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, and if and if your gun, when it snaps, kind of moves off sideways, it tells you that you weren't putting perfectly per perpendicular pressure on it. No big deal. <laughs> but. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just instant feedback, so you get really good at it as long as you're listening to that feedback. Okay. Cool. So, for everybody else, we are. These are the push pull, or the action ribs with push pull. Um, hinge with connection. They don't put a ton of pressure, so it bends the rib a bit. Right, yeah. Rib a bit. Okay, gonna rivet some aileron, uh, flap hinges. Oh! Ooh, went on the table. 
Okay, quick update. We've just clecoed the ribs in the flaps. And then you just kind of flip it over. You gotta use some weight bags and sandbags to weight it down, check for twist, and then match drill. But the thing is to note is you can't have these hinges contacting the skin at all. So you gotta kind of fiddle with them as you match drill, clico as you go. And then if it's okay, if it does, touch a little bit because then you'll remove everything to deburr and clean and then you can file those spots down. So that's where we're at. Quick update. Okay, we're done match drilling the bottom skin, but it's interesting because the, the instructions say to remove the clecos, clean everything off, and then rivet um, the skin on and then slide the spar in and then match drill, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to Remove run the top row of clecos from the top and bottom, put in the spar, and then cleco everything up nice and tight, and then match drill then, and then take everything apart, clean it, and rip it once. So, um, straying from the instructions it always scares me a bit. It just makes a lot more sense to, for me to do it that way in my mind. We'll see if it turns out all right. I've got another awesome set of helping hands today. We have inserted the spar. It's pretty easy. You just kind of, some people push it this way, but I found it pretty easy to slide. Just take your time and rotate as you go and making sure that it gets past each rib, especially without, with removing some clecos. Put them, put the clecos back in and then clecoed the um, spar to the top skin. That way, um, now we are able to match drill the bottom skin to the spar. That should take a while. They're number 40 size holes. We're just grabbing a number 30 sized um, bit and going through those holes into the spar. So when you drill them, should I like do every two? Should I do like two in the middle like this, like these ones? Um, I would say so. I think he's talking about click going as we drill, which is always a good idea. Um, I don't think it's totally necessary here, but eh, there's a little bit of play. Yeah, let's do it. It's a great idea. You know, you said something that you said you just moved it, which is probably a really good time to check for twist. Up. Put it right near a rib. Uh, hmm. 0.35, so we might have to adjust that a little bit. And then this guy is 0.75. Yeah, oh, so. This could really kind of affect twist, so this is a great time to shim weight as necessary. And having the clecos in helps with the weights because you can shove the weight um, the sandbags in right here, and it kind of really helps with security. And you kind of want to put the weights on where there's a, a spar underneath. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That is the edge format tool. So you run this along a piece of sheet metal, and it kind of gives it bend to the sheet metal. Next time I'll use this. I use this on the vertical stabilizer and then I'm also going to use it on the both wings. Well we are ready to match drill. The twist is good and then you need to come by every third Lico. Okay we have deconstructed the flaps, deburred, and a uh, tip is we initially deconstruct, we thought we were done deburring the insides of the spars, but turns out you got a match drill, the lower side. So we're reconstructing our tool, our mop pole with sandpaper to deburr, because you definitely need to do it. There's a ton of burrs on the inside of those. And we'll get to fleet going and then riveting. Got his favorite part, Clico. <laughs> Okay, this is why you need to deburr. Hopefully, you can see that. Get all those burrs inside of the newly match drilled set. Let me see the one that you. Let's complete, compare it. Better be perfect, Tomas. It's on film. I don't see any burrs. Uh, I see one. <laughs> Gotta go an extra mile and like. Polishing. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's rotate the, the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. Although, no, gravity is hurting. So let's let's do let's rotate the, the holes to the bottom. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. On the bottom, that way gravity will help us. Yeah. Yeah. Try to keep it taut, too. Yeah. Oh. Second set of holes. Oh, I felt some grabbing of the furs knocked down. Yeah. Looks good. Don't use this rope for climbing now. That's for sure. Oh, was this your climbing? No, it's a five dollar rope from Home Depot. Do not, do not uh, trust your life on that rope. Cool. Oh yeah, that's good. Reassembly for final assembly. Okay, final riveting. We're doing it totally out of order from the instructions, so hopefully this doesn't bite us. And that's all predicated upon the fact that I didn't want to um, match drill without the ability to clean out burrs. So, you no, know, this is uncharted territory, which is never good here, but. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. That's okay. Things are gonna be okay. See how it turns out, I'll let you know. Bottom of the aileron, or uh, flaps first, and then we'll do the tops. Completely opposite of what the instructions say. So if, if, if once it snaps, your rivet head pulls off, it shows that your force wasn't straight down. So that's okay, but let's try it again. There you go. Okay, looks good. Pull. Yeah. See how it didn't like jump off? That was fine. Yeah, exactly. Just need to finish this last one at the bottom, then we'll flip them over. Cool. All right. Oh, good catch. Cool. Yeah, it's always smart to just do one more, like, okay, any holes missing, any... Oh, yeah, see, look. <laughs> There's a hole. Yeah, so grab the rivet. Actually, Dave, we need another rope that goes before I want to... And we need to test for twist, remember? Right. So... So this one's good. I think you did that, but Tomas needed another row of Clicos. Oh, yeah. Do you want to test for twist? Sure. All right. So nice to have good help. We finished off the flaps. We're moving, charging right into the ailerons. Um, but right off the bat, we notice a, something a little bit different is they've got inspection rings, inspection holes. So you've got a Clico and then rivet the, the uh, retaining tabs in. And, but the rest seems to be pretty much the same. I gotta get goo gone off of that. Fix that, get that off. And then we're gonna have these done. But what do you think, tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Awesome, I like your confidence. Here we go. Sure, grabbing the goo gun and then um, start grabbing some rivets, some 41s. We'll verify that that is the right rivet. Before we do, I'm 99.9% .9 positive it is, but we always check. Yeah. So, let's first find the parts diagram find those retaining rings, and it's a number 11. And 11 corresponds to a PQ41. Actually, I'll tell you what, I will rivet if you want to start pulling Clicos out okay. on my side. And that's, yeah, that's, that's teamwork. That's a way to be efficient right there. We're finding another major distinction between the flaps and the ailerons and that the rib 
setup and orientation is quite different. You gotta pay pretty close attention to this, as well as there's a figures diagram, has left, right, left, right, where the flanges are facing. So double, triple check yourself. And we've got three part number fives, which are called the left hand aileron ribs. So we've got three of them here, so we'll set them up kind of out in front of the leading edge. And then, so there's one there, one in the middle, and then one adjacent to the middle. So this one, and then the tip has a different one. The tip has a number four, and a number four is a flap rib right hand. So you have a right hand rib going on a left AR. So try to pay, pay attention. It's not too tricky. So we've got, yeah, so, so those are action ribs, so we don't want, don't want those. There's, I know, action ribs grab on to push, pull, attach. And this is, yep, you got. How many? Um, so how many number fours? We've got two number fours. So that'll be kind of reversed on the right hand rib. Okay. So one's on the tip. So if you can take one to the tip. And then one is rib number two over on the inboard side. All right, so we've got that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So now we just need the two action ribs. So number six and number seven, which is aileron flap action rib left hand and right hand. So we've got the action packed ones. So you gotta make sure, pay attention. Is this a, this is a right hand one? So we need a left hand one. Another right, so we'll put it by that flap or that aileron. Here's a left hand one, and then the other left hand one, put it there actually. Okay, um, they go facing out from each other, and then right there. Okay, another major distinction between the flap and the aileron is more different kind of um, ribs and you really have to pay attention to the orientation of those said ribs um, and this figure kind of helps with the left and the right and whatnot so you kind of got to just in general set up set them up generally speaking and then now it's where we're gonna um, I imagine attach the hinges and the push pull attach so that's coming up next no don't wake up go back to sleep go back to sleep all right, where we are right now. So, one potential gotcha is, okay, you're riveting the hinges to the ribs, and then you also wanna rivet the um, push-pull attached to the action ribs. And don't forget, you gotta leave one hole empty. So there's four holes that you would rivet, just like on the hinges, but this one has, a, the fifth hole is for that, but for the hinge. But the this one has four holes, but there's no there's no fifth, so you leave the top aft hole unriveted. And that's where the push pull tube will attach. Okay, now you got that done. We click out the ribs to the skins, flipped them over to the tops of the skins, flipped them over because that's what we're getting ready to do is match drill. You got to weight them and check for twist. And once that's all good to go, match drill, finagle them such that. That sits in the middle of the slot. You don't want the hinge contacting any of the metal. If it does, you're gonna take it apart eventually to clean out the burrs. You can mark it and then file it down a little bit. So that is where we are off to the match drilling fun. Looks pretty good. Reference the black line, so. Is this the right drill bit size? Yeah. On this one? Let's double check. The the holes are on the skin are undersized. Um, a way to check to see if it goes through these holes.
probably finish this tonight if we wanted to work a little bit later, bud. Okay. And if uh, Tomas wouldn't keep freaking leaving, we'd get some dedication out of our intern. What do you think, man? How do you think we should motivate him? Uh, like, like not get shoes. Oh, no, that's, 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 I don't, I don't lead with the uh, stick. I, I, I lead with the carrot. Yeah? We'll get more donut holes, maybe. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's it. Oh yeah, and I told, promised him a ride in our Bonanza, and I've been slacking on that. And the Bonanza needs a flight. Get her innards lubed. Let's make this a late night. Come on, <laughs> Mondays at 4. Yeah, let's do it until 9 o'clock. Until 9 o'clock? Helen, that's past my birthday. I'm all killing it. Stayed up until like 11 last night. Oh, oh yeah, smoking cigars and drinking whiskey. Was that, was oh, that wait. me? <laughs> All right, I can't remember what we filmed, so we've riveted the bottom side per the instructions. Now we're riveting the top side. The spar hasn't even been match drilled yet. I confirmed that that's what, that's what they recommend doing. With the flaps, we took everything apart, cleaned everything out, but he said, and it kind of makes sense to me now, you can just match drill the front of the spar and you're just cleaning the debris out of the, the spar. <laughs> Finito. Well, sort of finished with that. Does not look nice. It's super true. So the only thing left is to match and drill uh, that row, deburr it, and clico it. And then we are moving on to the wings. Match drilling our favorite adventure. Deburr time. All right, we're polishing it, sort of. That's what I call it. Ready? That pull. All right, stop for a sec. Yeah, go ahead and pull the pull the rope out. Okay. I think, <laughs> Sorry about that. It's all right. I think we're done. I just want to. Oh, that's that looks nice. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice and clean now. Sweet. Okay, let's do the other one. Yeah. You don't need to pop you in the eye. Look at now you missed. Nice. Completed ailerons. Nice work. All right. I have a feeling I'm going to end this episode here. Flaps and ailerons complete. We're going to clean up the shop. We're going to source the parts for wings. We're going to go camping for three days in an RV. So um, that's that episode. Thanks, Tomas, once again for being here and for his awesome work. We are cooking with fire now. Thanks, Kellen. He's kicking butt as well. Elena, she's helping me too. 
So anyway, I hate asking for likes, but it does help the algorithm and all that stuff. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Until next time, you're clear direct.